confidence intervals are essentially when you're going to be taking your sample information and using that to make a guess about the population. Now, these can be extremely complex and hard to use if you don't have the right tools, which is why today I'm going to show you how to do it on the TI Inspire. So stick along with me as we go through and I'm going to show you all the steps to doing a confidence interval on the TI Inspire. Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Daniel Caproni and this is Probability and Statistics. Like I said, today we're going to be covering doing confidence intervals in the TI Inspire. Now I'm not going to lie, there are actually six types of confidence intervals that you can do in the TI Inspire that I cover in my class. But today we're only going to cover one of those six and that's when you're finding a confidence interval for the population mean and you know the population standard deviation. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and link two other videos where we talk about the population mean with the standard deviation unknown, and we're going to go ahead and also look at proportions, but those will come to follow in other videos. Along with it, I do want to say that this video is not meant to explain what confidence intervals are. I'll do that in another video. This is just meant to show how to use a TI Inspire to find your confidence interval. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive right into our example. All right, so here we are with our TI Inspire and the example we're going to be using for today. So first off, the example says, in a random sample of 60 refrigerators, the mean repair cost was $150. Assume the population standard deviation is $15.50. Construct a 99% confidence interval for the population mean repair cost. So this is a standard confidence interval question. And let's go ahead and see how we're going to do it on the calculator. So first off, this is the home screen so if you would like you can go ahead and start off by clicking on the calculator portion of the home screen to bring up our calculator from there we're going to go to menu statistics then we're going to go down to confidence intervals and we're going to go ahead for the population standard deviation known we're going to be looking at number one which is the z interval so once I click on that, this little pop-up window comes up and it says data. We actually want stats for this. And here's the difference. If you didn't have the statistics for your data and instead you just had the raw data, like a list of all the original numbers, then you could actually put those numbers into the little spreadsheet function on this calculator. And then it would allow you to import that data directly into this program. But usually when we're dealing with this, we have a lot of our summary statistics for the sample we're looking at. So I'm going to switch data to stats so that we can best use this. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK. Now it's going to ask us for some of the information from our question. In this case, let's just go through each of the items we got from the question and then see where that goes on our calculator. So starting off, it said that it was a random sample of 60 refrigerators. That is going to be your sample size, and your sample size is represented by N. So we're going to type in the 60 right here for N. Then the next thing it says is that the mean repair cost for that sample was $150. Well, the symbol for your sample mean is X bar, which is right here. So right next to that, we're going to go ahead and plug in our 150. Then from there, the next thing it says is that the population standard deviation is $15.50. So our population standard deviation, which is what made us use the Z interval here, is going to be 15.50. And lastly, it says we want to do this with 99% confidence. Now, by default, it puts in 95, but you can easily switch that to 99. Just make sure you leave it as a decimal, not as the percent. So 99% as a decimal is 0.99. From there, I go ahead and hit the OK button, and it will give me everything I need. Now, if you didn't know, a confidence interval is giving you a lower and upper are of an estimate that you're trying to guess for the population mean. So in this case, what we're saying is that we believe the mean repair cost for refrigerators for the whole population is going to be somewhere between $144.85, if you round, and $155.15. So it will be somewhere between those two numbers, and that's what the lower and upper are. 
Also, if you did this by hand, one of the things you would have to find is your margin of error, which is usually just represented with an E. In this case, they represent the margin of error with an ME, and you can see it right there. So all said and done, it tells you which one you clicked on, which was the Z interval in this case. It gives you the whole confidence interval, the lower and upper, so you would just write that out. And then it tells you the data you put in. Here's the X bar being 150. Here's the sample size being 60, the population standard deviation being 15.50. And it also gives you that margin of error that you would have found if you were doing it by hand. So this is actually how you do confidence intervals on the TI Inspire, and I hope you found that helpful. Remember guys, this is only one type of confidence interval that the TI Inspire can do. And I'm going to do videos on the other ones and I'll show you them in just a second. But please don't forget, if this video was helpful to you at all, go ahead and hit the like button below. And if you want to keep getting videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. Remember, my name is Daniel Caproni and this is Probability and Statistics. Now, if you do want to see the other videos for using your TI Inspire for confidence intervals, up above, you can go ahead and see confidence intervals for the population mean when the standard deviation of the population is unknown. And down below, you can actually see the confidence intervals for the Again, thanks for joining me and have a fantastic day.